Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, my friends. Welcome to another thrilling episode of Maggie Diaries. My name is Hanifa Adam, and I'm your amiable host for the show. Did you miss me? <laughs> I'm sure you did. Rice is the most popular food eaten in Nigeria. It is made into different kinds. Fried rice, native rice, rice cakes, and our popular bragging staple, jollof rice. I've had a lot of artworks that was running with that thing. Today, we are going to be making a unique kind of rice, but hold on, let me introduce you to our guest for today. Today's guest is an interior decorator. Please help me welcome Nafiat to our kitchen. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. alaikum. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, I'm really welcome. excited that you are here. I know you're an interior decorator, <laughs> okay. so I need you to rate my kitchen. Let me see. Well, this is very lovely. Thank In you. In fact, the colors, like the way you arrange the pots is Our superb. Our colors. And this, <laughs> mm -mm, the microwave is well placed and everything. Even the refrigerator. Well, you even have some nice piece here. Mm -mm. I know. I, I, the Actually, plants and everything. Mm -mm. Let me think. I'll rate you 10 over 10. Thank you. Your Thank you very lovely and colorful. Thank you very much. You did not remove anything for me. <laughs> At all. 10 over 10. <laughs> now me. that our guest is settled in, I can now tell you the kind of rice we'll be cooking. Today, we'll be cooking Riz Dodo. My favorite thing about this meal is that it can take you less than 20 minutes if you had your steam dried ready and in 35 minutes if you don't. It's time to go on a break and when we come back, we'll start preparing the colorful meal. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. To prepare riz dodo, we're going to need rice for the riz. <laughs> Plantain that we're going to make into dodo. I think you should just help me with that. Sausages that's already cut up chopped tomatoes, assorted beef, ginger and garlic, maggi chicken flavor, scotch bonnets, rodo, onions that's already chopped, and scent leaves. While I'm preparing the rest of the dish, she's going to help me cut the dodo into cubes. The yeah, size. yeah, then bigger yeah, as you go up, yeah. Why are we actually dicing our dodo? We are dicing it because we need it to come together as a concussion in the pot. It's oh, a one okay. pot meal, very easy to make and very fast soup. I'm also going to help you turn on the heat here so All that right, the, hot, the oil will be hot and you can just start with your dodo. In my cooking pot, I'm going to add some I'm amount of oil. That's a question. Okay. Does it not need to sprinkle salt? Because that's the usual thing people do. Because oh, I don't, not. so. I mean, me too, I don't. It's not needed, so you can just fry it. While we are waiting for our oil to become hot, I'm just going to continue with the process. So I'm just waiting for the meat to brown. Okay, so how do we check if the, can I pick some onions then? Yeah, it's for you to know if the oil. oil is hot, you can actually just, yeah, just a little bit of onion. Yes. It's not hot yet. Okay. You want it to be very hot, hot. so that the plantain can become like, you know, crispy and not golden soggy. brown. Yes, because we're still going to be putting it in the rice. I think the, the oil should be hot now, so. Yes. My meat is also getting brown, so. Careful. How do you manage not getting tempted while you're preparing iftar? Honestly, fear hmm. of God. <laughs> fear of God, though. <laughs> I won't lie here because not even while I'm cooking and, you know, preparing the food and everything, 
the aroma is there. Ah. Yeah, that's also one of the lessons Ramadan has in store for us. Yeah. It helps us to be able to like control our desires. Desire. You know, you are fasting and you're not yeah. going to just break it because you are tempted to do it. So it is teaching us self-control hmm. and self-restraint. That's true. Now that my meat is brown, okay. I'm going to pour the rest of the ingredients into it. So I'm going to start with the sausage. Should we? No, no, it's fine. We just, just leave it. Just going to continue stirring. The next thing I'm going to add is the ginger and garlic. garlic. Yeah. And I'm just going to move that around to release the flavor in it. Yeah. And then I'm going to add the onions. Do you like onions? Very well. Okay. It looks beautiful already. The yes. colors are... The colors are coming They are coloring. <laughs> Even the sausage is making it look more colorful. Yeah. So this should be golden brown. Just yeah, let us let it fry for a little, little bit. Little yeah. Bit. We need it to look like the color of the meat. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh -huh. Do you like cooking a lot during Ramadan? Ah, uh, during Ramadan. I really don't like cooking a lot during Ramadan. It's kind of stressful. I mean, now so, that we are fasting, yes. it's very nice to have the ideas of quick, easy, nutritious meals that you can make during this holy month. Ah, your is done. Because yes. one second it's golden and the other second is like really brown. Okay. <laughs> I'll just keep staring mine. Wow. While we were talking, I added some scotch bonnets to it. To eat. Yeah, okay. don't worry. I didn't make it too much. All right. So that will not make the heat a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, now that that's done, I'm going to put two Maggi chicken Cute. cubes in it. You know, our, our magical ingredient. Hmm, I know, right? It's always very tasty in food. Yeah. I like to use it. And then I'm going to add the rice to it now. And that reminds me, the way we came up with this recipe okay. is that, you know, in Ramadan, a lot of times when Ramadan starts, you're like really gingered, you're cooking yes. a lot and everything. Yes. And then there are yes. lots of leftovers, which we are going to be needing and when like you're not cooking all the food again. You want to clear up the fridge and freezer. Yes. Now that that's ready, let's just put it right in. You're okay. going to be folding it into the rice. Thank you. All of it. Alright. Oh, well, careful. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you were saying... You can see how very fast this is. We are basically done, honestly, because we already used cooked rice, which is a leftover. If you've made rice and stew, this is just something you yes. rustle up in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. I'm just going to turn off the heat. Then add the scent leaves okay. for like oh, the finishing wow. touch. This is so yummy already. <laughs> this is looking I'm not, so I'm nice not, I'm and not colorful. A, yeah, thank you. You know, the greens, the red, yes. even the golden. The golden Yeah, plantain. the golden brown of the, exactly. I think we should just add everything to it, shouldn't we? No, no, no. Okay, no, let no. us save some. Yes, let's <laughs> save some. Do you have any ritual that you perform before iftar? Yes, definitely. We usually recite the Quran, listen to lectures, tafsirs and all. That is the advantage of making quick meals because once that is done, you have like some moments to quickly do some act of ibadah and yeah. then you now go ahead and break your fast. fast exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going to go on a quick break now and when we come back, our iftar is going to be ready and served. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggi Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggi Chicken. Cook the difference. <laughs> <laughs> this is, in fact, mm -mm. this so is 10 over 10. <laughs> my, ah, honestly, my kitchen is 10 over 10, my food is mm -mm. 10 over 10. Honestly, I, I So I many obstacles. Yes. Yeah. The risk that is really coming up. Thank yeah. you so much. And I mean, we really did ourselves proud, didn't we? Definitely. <laughs> Our <laughs> very colorful risk that though is ready, as you can see. And the aroma, I can't even begin to explain it. And I cannot wait to share this meal with you. If you're watching us at home and you're making this meal for iftar or any other occasion, make sure you do not eat it alone. No, Honestly. invite friends, family, and neighbors to feast with you. 
Why? Because with Maggie in your food, everyone, everyone is, welcome. is welcome. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode of Maggie Diaries. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. See you on the next episode. And remember, with Maggie, everyone, everyone is, is welcome. welcome. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.